Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are in one of the many parks of downtown Taipei, and I'm going to be unboxing the ASUS Zenfone 6. Now before we open up the box, let's just stop to admire how beautiful it is. I found out that this was designed by Johnny Shi himself, that he had a big hand into the aesthetics of this, that though the price on this was relatively budget or is relatively budget here it's 6,000 NT which is $200 that we have these small circles that show off uh, what kind of functions the phone has and then it just slides open nicely like this so this is obviously the Zen Phone 6 6 inch device something else is buzzing over there but we'll just ignore that and keep going so it's a 6 inch phone it's running an uh, Intel Atom processor at 2 GHz. That's the Z2580, and we've ran some benchmarks on this, and you can check out our benchmarking video, but for 6,000 uh, 6, NT or $200, stand up. Uh, here's a little instruction card on how to take uh, the back off. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So here are two manuals, because this is a Taiwan phone. Everything is in traditional Chinese. Perfect. Oh, actually, this one must come from Hong Kong. So this is a Hong Kong adapter. Here we have a micro USB for charging, little earbuds, different sizes. And now this is something I was curious about because my daily headphones are actually ASUS headphones uh, from probably one of the pad phones. I've had them for years. But I got told they did a nice redesign here. If we look at them, they have a very aesthetic kind of nice little curve on the on the ends and now I've really I really like uh, the other ASUS headphones that I had I thought the sound quality was really good and of all the free headphones that I was getting uh, from all of the f devices the ASUS ones were the ones that stuck around the most so these are really nice I can't wait to take a listen to those obviously there's a little card in there and that's that's it for the box so let's get into the goodies of the phone itself let's just move all this over okay so you can just slide it out the bottom. Now this is a very nice device. So the box was black, so the phone is black, but I'm actually gonna switch it out for a red cover. Now the thing about the backing on this, uh, my hands are really sweaty, it's quite hot today. But let's just maul that up a little bit. It doesn't look too bad. The red one has even more of this like very soft touch. It, it, it feels like porcelain. So the guys at ASUS were telling me that Johnny wanted this to feel like it had a glass back. And even though it was a budget price, it should feel incredibly premium. And on the red, they've totally nailed it. And if you take a look at the power button and the volume rocker here, you can see that they've got like an actual, like, what they call those, those spin spin circles or whatever they call it, but there's actually a texture on there which makes it feel very premium. Now taking this off, there's a, there's an instruction manual around it. Now they've, it's quite tight, so if you're really worried about chipping your nails, um, yeah, you, you maybe should be. There we go. All right, so the back's finally off. Now the first thing you'll notice is two SIM card slots, full-size SIM card slots. Uh, personally, I prefer when one's small and one's big. So you can kind of do the, the micro and then the full size. Uh, there's a SD card slot here up to 64 gigabyte. So one of the things that I really have to give recommendation around is the battery life. That's one of the selling features for me around going for an Intel CPU. So the display is 720p. Uh, on the back here, that is a 13 megapixel shooter LED flash. This has Pixlr Express, and I have another video where I show off the low light capabilities of this camera, and it is completely killer. Uh, there's a butterfly in a box in the dark. <laughs> it sounds like a joke, but it's not. <laughs> and this camera pulled out an actual photo of the butterfly. You should really check out that video. I love, love, love the camera app. So now I was playing around with this uh, a little bit earlier. So there's a look at, this is 13 megapixel. Like that's quite good. The camera comes with a lot of different options. So this was nighttime. This was HDR, Type A 101. So here's me on the MRT. I was trying to that blur out effect. That one didn't quite work. 
So here was uh, the selfie one. So it takes, so what's cool is you can actually take a rear facing photo here. So here's the ASUS headquarters. There's one here I want, ah, here it is. So this was um, the two-tone where, you, where you're blurring out the back. Now look at how detailed the camera is on this. That's great. And on this side, you can see the drops of water on that Coke can. And then we've got the kind of blurred out background. That's impressive. I mean, I think this, there's a really great camera on here. There's me at the at ASUS trying out the phone. There's Christine. <laughs> but let's just head into the camera app so I can show you a little bit more. Uh, I'll go over all of these things in the in the full review, but this is in nighttime mode, nighttime video. I took a picture. Whoops. Let me just head back. So you head over here. So here are all the different options. We have auto, you have time rewind. So this is something like it takes like two seconds or three seconds of photo, and then you can choose uh, which one's the best, HDR, panorama, nighttime, low light. So this is the stuff that I was showing off with the Pixlr Express. Watch that video. I'll do some more stuff with that, but you know, definitely worth looking at. All right, so let's just check out selfie mode. So what happens is you turn the, you turn the phone around and then you hear the sound and it's found my face and it's gonna take a few different photos. So I look cross-eyed than that one. Okay, there we go. So there's me sitting behind the camera and so I can choose which one works the best. Obviously, why, I'm not sure why I'm sticking out my tongue, but that's okay. So that's selfie mode, that's pretty neat. The camera just has a ton of other features. So I will be going over more of that uh, in the full review. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a taste. So that was just a very quick look at the ASUS Zenfone 6. There are so many features packed into this device that is going to be a huge deep dive when we do hit the review. So if there's something specific that you want to see, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to include it. And while you're down there, why don't you like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host, Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks. Yeah.